We are also huge supporters of labor leaders who have their the best interests of workers at heart. And one of those labor leaders happens to be Sean Fain of UAW. Oh, you, this is, see, what a nice surprise. Yes. Oh, you had me at Sean Fain. So UAW is calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Here we go. As union members, we know we must fight for all workers and suffering people around the world. We must fight for humanity. That means we must restore people's basic rights and allow water, food, yes, yes. fuel, that's right, that's right. humanitarian aid to enter Gaza. That's right. We must also call for the release of all hostages. That's right. yes. I thank our UAW members for speaking out and pushing us that's right. to come out in support of a ceasefire. That's right. It was the right thing to do. Yes. That's right. So now it's time for the rest of our elected leaders to step up and do what it takes to end the violence. Yes. That's right. And I call on the rest of the labor movement to join us in this mission for peace and social justice for all of humanity. I love him so. I do. I love it. Firmware, for, thank you so oh, much. Oh, yes. And they can. And I know you mean save us. And 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 it's true. And and the fact that Sean Fain, and it's, I know it's not just him. He represents the UAW. And he really is somebody that is in touch with the uh, workers. But and, the, he, and he meant save us, not save us. I said yeah, save yes. us. That's what I said. I yes. know what he meant. But the fact that they're connecting the labor movement to the oppression of Palestinians is a huge first step in a long line of connecting links that we have to make to have a real revolution. You have to connect labor with other forms of oppression. That's huge. And that he's taking that step and putting that out there. And I don't have too much faith that other unions will follow suit. Unfortunately, I don't. But I still recognize that it's just a huge step and it pleases me very much. Danny, don't think we forgot about you. Thank All you right. so you very, very party. much for your for your support he, and he probably Danny, wants, Danny probably wants Bernie. So I'm going to, so for those of you who are still here, who are new, um, do we still have new people I'll, here? I'll even donate as a 50. If, if Biden was going to give you another 50, I'm pretty, Brian, you got to come up with something better. I mean, you know, you, I, by the way, do you know what we do? No, excuse me. Excuse me. This I'm is, here now. I'm now. here now. I'm here. Believe, so listen, gross. I have been listening to these really <laughs> terrible people. And of course, I am going to remind these people right here, right now, it's very important that the second I get in, and remember, we are going to make America great again. Again. In 24. And you know how we're going to do that on day one? Of course, I'm going to be a dictator on day one, but only for one day. It'll and be so day, interesting to watch how really you do great. that from a jail It'll cell. It'll be really great. No, listen, I'll mm. have the most big, beautiful, important jail cell you've ever seen. I will have my desk. It'll be perfect. I'll give my executive orders from there. It'll be really great. And so what's going to happen What are you is, thinking about your running mate? Because people are starting to talk Nikki Haley. I totally don't like that woman. She's a terrible person. Yeah, but you know what? I don't She'd like be her. a great ticket for you. Uh, she probably would, but it's my party. And I'll I know you I will. To. You'll make some stupid ego-based choice. Totally but the truth will. is, and I'm not a fan of you or her, but I'm just saying from a strategy, she'd nope. be a really good pick for you. Listen, the best idea I've had all day long, and I did it when I was on the toilet. I didn't tweet about it, but it happened on the toilet where it usually happens. Mm, that's where I'm Elvis just, died. Uh, that's unfortunate. It won't happen to me. Mm -hmm. I'm on. I, oh, I, my God. I so me. hope that's you how. I so hope that's how you go is on. The you toilet. can't oh kill me. God, you I can so only that. hope to contain me. That's all you Oh, can you're going to die. Believe me when I tell you. And, and it's a so, gold toilet. I know it's, it's a, a gold toilet. Well, of course it's gold. It's 14 Oh, my God. Karat I gold. so hope you, that he 14, dies on a toilet. That's 14 perfect. 14 karat gold. The best. The most incredible. <laughs> and make sure, listen, I have, I have always given really sound financial advice. I never lose. I always win. So I'm telling you now, invest in gold. It's a smart move. Great move. Tremendous move. When I come invest back, we'll take gold. care of everything. We are going to end this conflict between Russia and Ukraine. I'm going to take care of it. We're going to drill, baby, drill. Oh, God. And I will declare myself emperor on day one. That's all I'm going to do. That's all that's all that's going to happen. But that that's it's going to be wonderful. You're going to really appreciate it all. I hope you're all enjoying this wonderful time here today. Having a really good time. Believe me, we'll be back. America, mm. America great again. Again. In 24. Um, Bye. So that's my Trump. That's the Trump. Thank you, Donald. That's the really Trumpist. And can I sit clean, Cole? There's no such thing. See, as soon as, and that's a really good point, Teresa. Yes. Thank you for bringing up the Assange thing again, because yes. anybody 
anywhere, anyhow, making any argument in any shape or form, in any way to justify anything that has happened to Julian Assange, it's a not like, I'm done. I'm done. There is no thing you can say that is going to change that. Notoriety, I know you come from uh, Loner's uh, channel. We hope you'll come back. We live stream on Mondays and Thursdays, either at 1 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen, Destiny's in Miami. We are more than happy to talk to him. Jen recently talked with Luke Rakowski and, and, and Clint Russell on their channel down in Miami. I am happy to talk more to you, but I, I don't to debate. He might want to debate. I'm not debating. I have no I think interest. I did a pretty good job today. Just, you know, I don't, but I don't pain. enjoy it. Yeah. So that's the thing. Yes. I understand that I can do that. Sure. I did practice that. And so I understand I can argue. I don't enjoy it. It's a buzzkill. So I don't want to spend my mental energy doing that. That's why I stopped doing it for a living. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. So don't, I don't want to debate people. That's not my thing. If somebody has good information, I'm always willing to hear it. Um, if you join on Patreon, you can directly message me, and I do message back fairly expeditiously, I must say, yes. um, to everybody through Patreon. Uh, Patreon. So that's how you can communicate with me. And I'm always open to new information. That's not what I mean. But I, I don't need to have some sort of public spectacle debate with people and people try to get you. Like well, it's well, not, well, I don't well, enjoy well, it. Well, I, well, Calm down. If this is why I don't calm enjoy it. It stresses me out. And you, I don't even want to talk to right well, now. Look, unfortunately, uh, I can't seem to get my story straight. On the one hand, I will not say permanent ceasefire. I, I'm so disgusted. But on the other you. hand, I've decided to stand up to my good friend Joe and tell him that he's wrong, that he is not correct in terms of his assessment. Uh, this is not a good time for the American people. It's a very sad time, and a lot of innocent people. Until the word happen. ceasefire come out of your mouth, I'm really just. Well, not I have said ceasefire. I, I said temporary ceasefire. Doesn't that count for anything? No, it really doesn't. No, we totally no it really listen. doesn't. Because quite honestly, at this point, a ceasefire won't solve anything. A ceasefire. That's has, the that's the problem. No, look, we we are we are in a very disturbing mm -hmm. quagmire right now. It is an unfortunate time in American history, but we want everyone to understand. Say the word genocide, Bernie. Genocide. But I said it. You have said you've it. said it. I said genocide. Regarding said what Israel is currently doing in terms of war crimes. Um are you, I'll get back to you on that one, but yeah. you know, I did say the word genocide. I said Whatever. it. Whatever. You have to say it in relation to the context that we're speaking you of. You can completely take me out of context now if you want to do that. I'm but just... I am here to remind you that Sean Fain is a great leader of the labor movement. He is doing a wonderful job. So make sure I that you support him. your local labor organization. That is how you're going to make change here in the United States. It's up to you, not up to me. Remember, it's not me, us. That's what it's always been about. I Am just, I right? yes, you're right. Thank you. I just wanted to come on here and clarify that. But I'm very upset with you. Oh. So I. Don't don't allow the chat to run roughshod over me. I no, I'll listen. run roughshod. I'm so annoyed with you. Oh, happy holidays, guys. It's the end of Hanukkah. Don't you want to get into the spirit of the holiday? I guess she doesn't want to do that. But no, but we are having Festivus. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.